Hello everyone and welcome back to Rosegale Sandbox. Today is the day that we are connecting up this road to this part on the dam. And if you didn't see in our last episode, we made this really, really cool dam, which is spanning across this big section of landscape. And I really wanna do something modern for this bridge because I know that we were supposed to sort of keep this map kind of old timey feeling, but to be honest, we've got this um, military base here. So I think it'd be really cool if we added something more modern in. And I've got a couple ideas, but the first thing I'm gonna do is start with a general shape. However, to make the shape of the bridge, I've got to start all the way up here. And once I've got it all in place, then I can bring it down into the right location. So by copying a part up here around one of these, I can create this really, really nice curved gradient kind of thing. And now I've curved it down on either side. That is looking like a really, really nice bridge shape. Now, of course, before we do anything else, this needs to be the color of a road. So let me just go and do that quickly. Cool, and I've also put the white lines in and they're looking really, really nice. So now we can go and add some extra details, maybe some curbs along the side of the bridge and also some railings I think would be quite nice. Because I do want there to be paths either side of this road, but I don't really want them to be concrete like the rest of the road that is sort of at ground level. So I'm thinking we could do some sort of like modern wooden planks kind of a thing. And that would also tie in really nicely with the wood theme we've got going on with the dam. Okay, and there we go. Everything's looking really, really nice. Please ignore if it looks a little bit different. Uh, roadblocks kicked me off and I had to rebuild the entire thing. So that's always fun. But yes, now we've got the basic shape in. Let's see if we can add some railings on the side to make this look really nice. And yeah, I think this is gonna look really good as I copy it around. And now I've got the rail on one side, all I need to do is copy it and move it over to the other. And there we have a very fancy looking bridge. Okay, so I think the plan now is if I can move this down into position, extend these out so that they connect up with this, and then we can add in the two support beams that I've got planned for either side. And yeah, I think there's looking rather nice. Now, I know this is completely 100% out of scale. Just ignore that. We are ignoring scale for this map. We're just doing things that look nice. And I think this is a pretty cool bridge. So yeah, you can stop your hate comments about it not being to scale now. So now the bridge is in position, we can take the final road pieces and extend them all the way down, which means this is where we're gonna have to take the road round and link it to there. And the same goes for over this side. Now I've extended out the wooden walkways because I think that will look nice, but I don't feel like we need any more of these railings at the side just because this, you know, is barely off the ground. And there's also gonna be other supports here and stuff like that. What we do need to do is continue the white stripes, however. I say stripe, they're supposed to be road markings, aren't they? Should call them by their proper name. And now from this point, I can go and get the other roads and connect them up to either side of the bridge.
Okay, so there we go. Once again, I sort of went a little bit over the top and did, you know, a whole layout kind of situation. But this is looking really, really good. And now we've got the bridge joined up. I can finally start work on the pillars. I said that actually before that I do want to extend these concrete sides down. Okay, so now it is time to start work on the two support beams that are going to hold up this bridge. And we're going to have one approximately here and one approximately here. First, we need to start with the foundations. And yeah, I've attached these little pillars, but instead of these being concrete, I want to have some sort of brick texture, but maybe not the normal brick. Maybe there's another thing that we could use because there's all these new textures that have been added. To be honest, I think it looks really, really nice when we have this pavement texture, but in black. And then what I want to do is complete some triangular sort of archway type things over the top. And yeah, I think that just adds a little bit more character to the bridge. Oh, total lie, I think we're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like that, actually. And you know what? That bridge is looking really, really cool. Okay, so there's only a couple things left to do. One of those is a little bit of landscaping. And to be honest, that mainly just involves adding a whole load of these grass mounds all over the place. This is just to make the area look a little less monotonous. And I am going to leave some space here because I do want to add in some more fields next week. But yes, I've also realized we're going to need some fences either side of this train track as well. So let me go and grab a fence pair from over here. And now I've just got to copy this across all the way until we get to the station. You know what though, I can increase the group size and hopefully this makes it go a little bit quicker. And yeah, that is looking really, really nice now. Okay, so that means the final thing we've got to do is add a whole load of foliage around this area. And you guys all know how this goes by now. We're basically just going to spam a load of trees everywhere. And yeah, there we go. That is the bridge added in. You know what, I am really, really happy with how this is looking. It really fills in the gap between the uh, dam and the military base, which is something we need to focus on a little bit more. I have got this gap over here that we need to fill in with a couple more fields. And of course, this big bit between the nature reserve and this stretch of fields, which I still don't know what to do with. So if you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, that is all we've got time for today. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.